Good morning, everyone. It's uh, October 20th of 2021. My name is Michelle Smith. I'm a diabetes educator here at the um, Winnebago Public Health Department in the diabetes program and um, with the Winnebago Comprehensive Healthcare System. I work in the hospital in the lower level and I probably know or have seen uh, many of you if uh, you have diabetes over over the years. So I'm here today to give you um, access to this video message about a change in your home uh, blood sugar testing equipment that is, is new and improved. So I want to start off with um, telling you that the current system that you're using is still accurate. It is the AccuCheck Aviva meter that many of you have had, and we've had this meter in this system for many years, uh, probably more than five years, and they use this AccuCheck um, Aviva test strip. So if you have this meter and you, the key to still using this meter is if you still have test strips. You can continue using them until the strips are gone, but when you need refills, the pharmacy won't have these strips to refill anymore, and at that point is when you'll have to switch to a new system. So if you have the Aviva and you still have Aviva test strips, go ahead and keep using them use them up and um, at that point that they're gone we will switch you to the new system so now I want to show you what we have that's new and again it's by AccuCheck but it's called guide me and it's a new meter it's a little bit uh, smaller in a smaller case and I troubleshooted this uh, myself. So the first thing that I didn't do correctly was to just open this case. <laughs> so um, all the ways that you might think you open the simple case, but you just push against this little spot here and it pops open. So it took me a couple tries to figure that out. So it snaps back shut and then push on the side to open the case. So when you get the meter, either from the outpatient nurses or from the pharmacy or myself, if someone shows you how to use it, this is what will be in this box. Just the case and the meter. So we're going to assemble everything that you, you need to do um, a test of your blood sugar with this meter. So you need the Guide Me and you need the AccuCheck Guide test strips. Now these are different as well. And when someone teaches you how to use this meter, we will start with a package of strips that just has 10. That's just for demonstrating to you. Your provider will order uh, these strips and they'll come just like, just like the former ones did in a box or a container of 50. So um, again, this looks quite different. It's not the round bottle. And the strips, this is one of the new features the container pops open and the strips are all lined up so they don't spill out. Some of, some of that happened in the past with this whole opening this bottle and the strips could all spill out, go onto the floor, and get exposed to dust. Um, so this is a new feature of the strip. So um, the meter works primarily the same as your old one. It just has one button on the side and you can always um, check the time and date settings and uh, it resets the date and time the same as your former meter. If you have any trouble with that, um, someone can help you here, myself or the pharmacist can help you with setting the date and time. There's um, certainly instructions um, in a little folder inside the box too. But let's just set, say that the date and time is already set and you're ready to go ahead and do a test. So you'll see the strip signal is flashing on the front of the meter. So you would just use your thumb and get out one strip from this container. You do, um, is advised to re-close uh, the bottle of the strips promptly as they're sensitive to moisture and they're sensitive to any dust. It might alter the accuracy of the test if the strips have been exposed. So you can see that it's ready for the strip. The silver end of the strip goes into the meter in the same slot, similar as the former meter. 
and then there's a little yellow panel across the bottom of this strip and once you have a drop of blood you can just touch the droplet of blood and the blood will fill the strip across and it will give you a test give you a test result so i think that uh, those steps are pretty straightforward um, the meter will turn off by itself or you can turn it off with this button on the side um, like the uh, former meter it has a memory so each test that you do is logged here and we can um, print off of it and um, download when you bring it to your provider and uh, see all the trends and patterns and um, direction that your blood sugar is taking so so that's your new guide me meter in a nutshell um, i want to tell you about um, a feature that wasn't um, what your old meter was capable of and that is a an app that you can download to your phone it's called my sugar S-U-G-R and you just go to the app store it's free and it actually it will signal back to your phone and it'll even remind you that it might be time to test your blood sugar it'll it has all kinds of capacity to um, add information about carbs exercise medications so it's it's quite um, involved and it could be a good tool for those of you who um, are interested in an app feature so the final thing I want to show you is um, many of you have been using a system to prick your blood prick your finger to get a drop of blood and that's all exactly the same nothing has changed um, from the AccuCheck Fast Click Lancing device and the AccuCheck Fast Click Lancets that um, you've had in the past. But just because I have a chance, I'm going to show you that quickly. Because sometimes people get home and they think it should, we think it should be straightforward to figure it out. But um, we've had different devices over time, and so this is the one we currently have. It's also one that we prefer because it has less risk of uh, re-sticking. All the lancets are self-enclosed into this uh, little drum um, casing. There's six different new individual lancets in here. So to load the drum into the device, you just pop the cap off, put the white end of the lancet drum into the device, push it in flush, it, it can't stick you at this point, so you can push it all the way in. Line up the notches, put the cap back on. These numbers on the bottom tell you how deep the lancet is gonna puncture into your finger. And most people just leave it set on two. You know, some people have heavy calluses on their hands, so they may need the lancet to puncture um, to get an adequate drop of blood. So you can experiment with this, either two, one and a half. Um, and then it's just a spring device. It's just a, a spring in here that controls the depth of the puncture to be virtually pain-free. That's what it says, virtually pain-free. So you want to puncture your finger on the sides, like at about 10 o'clock and two o'clock, if, if the end of your finger was the face of the clock, not right on the fingertips. The uh, lancet needle is going to come out this little hole, so you want to line it up and get it kind of firmly and flush against the side of your finger. And there's just one motion that punctures your finger. And you can use this device one time and then advance it. Remember the drum has six different lancets, so now we've moved it past the one we just used. And when this goes all the way down to one, then you replace the lancet. It won't go over and back anymore. And then you want to take out the old lancet the drum. And you'll see there's a little red mark on there. That just means that this is trash. This one is all used up and, and can't be used again. So then you just replace it with another lancet drum. And that's the fast click lancing device. So certainly for any questions about any of this, um, you can call. You can call to the pharmacy, 402-878-3692. That's the pharmacy directly. 402-878-3582 is my office number. If you have any questions, these refills of the supplies all come from the pharmacy.
So when you need more strips or you need more lancets, um, you can ask the pharmacy about those. That includes everything I wanted to tell you. Good luck testing blood sugar at home. Thanks.